guys, it is April 1st and today is a shot day. I did weigh myself earlier this morning, but I wasn't thinking that it was a shot day, so I didn't actually take photographic evidence of it. Um, yeah, so then I took a shower and got ready and then happened to look at my calendar and saw that today was a shot day, but I didn't want to get naked again and take a picture. So I weighed in today at 2.59. I think the last time it was 259 as well, might have been 260, something like that. So kind of just stay in the line right now. And I'm okay with that, that I felt like I was kind of maybe retaining some water over the last few days. My Fitbit was a little tighter than it typically was. I'm not noticing that today, um, so I don't know what's going on. I was able to use the bathroom again today, which was nice. Uh, I'm always so jealous of my husband. He like can get up, takes a couple sips of coffee, maybe he has a cup of coffee if that, and then he's upstairs in the bathroom. It's so not easy for him. Like I, and he's like, well, just drink coffee. And my mom says that too, but I don't like coffee. And it's a sweet, tasty coffee sugar bomb from Starbucks. And then I do like that. But then it's not really about the coffee getting the bowels moving. It's about calories and sugar. So again, this morning was 2.59 and um, I still am going to stick with the um, the 7.5 milligram. I'm also starting a, another protocol today. It's the SS31. I will be taking four milligrams every day for 25 days and then I will do the MOTS C protocol. So I didn't want to use two syringes today. So I, you know, I reconstituted and they're separate vials. But then I took the um, the four milligrams from the SS31, and then I pulled the uh, seven and a half from my TERS, TERS Epitide vial, and it immediately turned a milky white. You guys can see that. So I put it out there on the interwebs to my peptides groups, and I'm like, hmm. Because they there there are certain peptides that are not supposed to mix together because it'll gel. This doesn't appear to be gelled. It just appears to be a different color. So I was like, is this still safe to use? My husband's like, what are you doing? Just use the two separate syringes. We can afford two separate syringes, which is true. But I was trying to be frugal. Um, so I am waiting to hear back from um, the other folks on whether or not I should have mixed these, if it's still safe to use, I don't know. So that part um, of the process will be videoed a bit later because I don't know if it's safe. Um, I was just gonna do it anyway and my husband's like, it is not worth it. So the bummer of it is the, um, the place that I was getting my peptides recently shut down, this overseas place that I was using. And so now uh, the forums that I'm on, people are like scrambling to try to find other um, labs that have a very pure, high quality product for a good price. Because some of these places that you can get in the States, it's like, you know, you can get one vial of 15 milligrams, let's say, for like $250. That's bonkers. I just spent, what was it? For the for the fifth, the kit, the 10 vials of 15s, I think it was like 241 or something for like 10 times the amount that these uh, US places are paying. It's just crazy. So I have enough to get me through the next probably couple months. I'm hopeful that these uh, group buy places will have another vendor in place. Maybe that one vendor will actually come back under a different name. I, I'm not really sure how that's gonna work. But this is why it's very important to not be very vocal about where people get their peptides. Like it's it's a very back room cloak and dagger kind of situation because if so many people are talking about it and telling so many other people, oh yeah, this is the place in a very public forum, government agencies are going to hear about that, you know? Also, it sounds like um, the, the Manjaro brand company, the Eli Lilly, I'm wanting to say that I just saw something in the news where they made some kind of an agreement with China for them to start manufacturing um, 
the actual branded product. So there may be some countries now that are a little bit more leery um, about making the exact same product. I mean, it's not like they're selling it under the branded name, so it's not like it's a counterfeit in my mind. It's a peptide, but anyway, when I figure out what's going on, um, if it is safe to use this uh, milky fluid, it looks like spinal fluid. Um, I guess I will let you guys know when I figure out what I'll be doing. All right, until then. All right, so I'm doing two different shots today. I will be doing the regular trisepatide and then the SS31. I'll do them kind of in the same area. I guess we'll start with the SS31 first. Not cloudy, clear this time. And the way that I did the water with this is I actually halved it. So instead of it being at the 0.4, um, I don't even know how this will see this. Yeah, it doesn't wanna, anyway. Instead of being at the 0.4, it's at the 0.2. Because I'm doing four milligrams, but I have the dose. Most people say they don't notice any kind of anything from the SS31. No side effects. Like they're, I don't even know if it's working. This one is the 7.5. This is the trisepatide. Alrighty, both of those done and done. Okay, so that was four milligrams of the SS31 and seven and a half milligrams of the Tuzepatide. I'll be doing the SS31 daily. I won't take videos of it daily, um, just when it happens to fall on these type of days. If I have any side effects from it, I will let you guys know. I'm not expecting it. Like I said, most people who um, do this peptide, they don't notice any kind of a difference on it. It's really meant as, well, a lot of people use it as a precursor, precursor to the MOTS C peptide, kind of like as a primer for your mitochondrial cells. So I'm not really expecting anything from that. I'll be doing this every day, the four milligrams every day for 25 days. Someone earlier asked me if I had noticed any hair loss with the Ters peptide, and at the time I hadn't. And lately I've been noticing that I do have more hair in the shower. Now, I don't know if that's because of the trisepatide or if it's because my hair is growing out. And so I'm noticing it more. It's not just going down the drain. It's starting to collect more. So I don't really, I don't know which way it is. I, I can't say if it's the trisepatide causing hair loss or just hair growth. So I'm noticing it. I don't really have um, anywhere in my hair where I feel like I'm thinning. So I'm going to say it's probably just because my hair is getting a little bit longer. Uh, we started watching the show on Netflix called School Spirits. It was good. Well, it is good. We're only three, maybe four episodes in and they're out of like eight, but it's pretty good. The premise is this 16 year old girl dies um, at the school, at the high school. And when she comes back, there are some other people at the school too. Um, who have died also at the school. So, and then they just kind of hang out, right? Until somehow they cross over to the other side. Um, some of these people have been here since like the 60s. So in her case, she was murdered. So she's trying to solve her own murder because, um, well, most people know how they died for whatever reason she can't recall. So she's, the whole story is her trying to solve her own murder. And I would assume if there is... I mean, if she ends up solving her own murder through the season one, that there wouldn't be a season two. But I don't know, because I haven't finished the season yet. But that's a really good one. That's on Netflix, School Spirits. We watched Roadhouse the other day, the remake with Jake Gyllenhaal. That kid is ripped. He's he's looking pretty good in that one. Um, but it's definitely a departure from the original Roadhouse. Like, his name is the same. But, and he, he helps out at a roadhouse called The Roadhouse. But uh, it's set in a different location. The bad guy is a little bit different. Um, yeah, anyway, it was good. Uh, 
what was it called? What's his name? McGregor. Connor McGregor. He's in it. He plays like a crazy. He there's a there's a guy in the original Roadhouse who's got like long, wavy, uh, dark hair, who's kind of like Patrick Swayze's sidekick nemesis guy, the sidekick to the bad guy. So Colin uh, Connor McGregor kind of plays, I think, that role. And there are some throwbacks to it, like um, there's a business there in like this little strip mall that's called the Double Deuce. That was the name of the original Roadhouse in the first one. Um, he never goes into it in the this remake, but it's next to uh, a bookstore that he frequents. So I thought that kind of little Easter egg was fun. And then um, the there's a little girl, well, she's not little, she's like 16, 17. Her name's Charlie, and I'm pretty sure that was the love interest of Patrick Sweezy's character, the name of that character in the first one. So little things like that. Um, if you're not expecting it to be the exact same, just with different actors, then you'd probably like it. It's got um, really good action scenes. I laughed a number of times. It wasn't too much fighting. Like sometimes, you know, it's unreal. It's, it would not happen. Like in the John Wick movies, those fight scenes go on for like 10 freaking minutes. People would be down before them. So this one, the fight scenes are believable. People get injured. Um, it looks like it hurt them when they when they fight. And there's this one uh, comedic relief guy. He's uh, he's kind of part of the gang, but he's, he's kind of a sweetheart for being in the gang. So it's kind of fun. So I would recommend Roadhouse if you're looking for an entertaining uh, movie to watch. That one's pretty good. All right. Um, I did not notice a bruise. I did my thigh last time. I did not notice a bruise from the injection. So either I had been going more muscle, um, less fat on the top of my leg. And whereas this last time I was more inner thigh fatty area, maybe that's why I didn't bruise this time. I don't know. Um, you just saw me take it in my stomach this time. So we'll see how it goes. Now I am a little itchy in my stomach and I really, I think that's because of the, um, the SS31. I have heard that there could be some injection site reactions or ISRs uh, for, from this particular one. Um, it doesn't sting or anything. It doesn't hurt. It's just a little itchy. Like I, I can tell where I injected, but I'll be doing this every day for the next 25 days. So, all right. I will see you guys later. I hope you had a good Easter holiday um, and I'll see you next time.